Hi there, Lori here. I'm going to show you how to adjust your spacing on fonts to get your text to look the way you want it to. So you can see this sentence. I used Presto for the font and you can look at the spacing in between letters. So it's not too bad for these first ones, although between the O and the T there's a bit of a gap and beside that A and the T you can see the gap. But look over here particularly at the S and the P, how big that space is in between them. And then the T and the O aren't connected the whole way through. So this is not what I want my spacing to look like. When I'm doing a font that looks like cursive and it's writing along, I don't want it to look like that. However, I do want it to look like this. So you can see that these are pulled together and it looks more natural. It looks like they haven't lifted the pen as much. And even though some of them still have a bit of a space, they're definitely closer together. And we could even get closer than that if we wanted to. So this is Artisan 5. Let me show you how I accomplished that look. You can't just do it in a normal text box. There's no way to adjust the spacing in between letters. The only adjustment for spacing you can do in a normal text box is if you have separate lines, and you can do that. But there is a way to do it. Insert a shape. I'm just going to go to a rectangle. I'll spread this rectangle out so that it's the length that I want it to be and create. Then I'm going to go over to that shape and I'm going to go to text format. And when I do format, I'm going to say position text along the shape and I'm not going to do anything else yet. I'm just going to say okay. I'm going to copy my words so that I don't have to type this over again. So I'm just copying. I'm going to select this. Sometimes I have to go back up here to select. And if it fights us, do right mouse text, edit. And I will paste in the words. You can see that it's the normal spacing, the way that we don't want it to look. Now I can do right mouse text and format one more time. I'm going to scroll down, go to more options, and scroll on down through, and here's what we want, spacing. Grab this spacing bar and start pulling that together until you are happy with the look. And you can stretch it and shrink it just as much, I mean I could pile it on top of each other, or I could space it out further if that's the look you happen to be going for, but I'm watching the little pieces of the letters. Now this one's a little bit wider. See how this I and S don't connect up perfectly, but this one does? So there's a lot of different choices that you can make as you adjust your spacing. I'm now going to OK that, and this invisible box that we have going on, that means nothing. If I would had um, a fill or a stroke, we would see it, but because now Artisan 5 defaults to the last way that we've done it, I've taken off the fill and the stroke, so it's totally invisible. If it bothers you there and you don't like it, and I could resize it so that it's not big and, and uh, jumping out at me, but if it really bothers you there, once you get your text exactly the way you want it to look, you could go ahead and flatten it. So if I went to arrange and flatten, now my text is the way I like. I don't tend to flatten my text very often, but you certainly could if you want to. Have fun playing with that. I love being able to do my spacing both ways, between my letters and between my lines now in our